Well, goddamn, you were right. Well, you were. I had my doubts, you know? But the way you turned that trap around back on them. All right. Yeah, thank you. I accept your compliments, but even if I hadn't pointed out that they would likely be waiting for us, I have a feeling that someone with your experience would already know that. And I think you're just giving me a win, so it feels like I accomplished something in this team. You don't need to do that. We do. We do. We make a wonderful team. Never would have thought that this is the direction my life was going to go, but... You know, here we are, and I can't say I have a problem with it. You're sure they're all actually unconscious, right? No one's just pretending. Because the last thing I'm, I think either of us would want is someone jumping up you know, when our backs are turned and throwing off a spell or something, like... Really? How do you know that much about these types of traps? These are incredibly high-end. Well... Alright, I will answer your question, but I would like you to answer mine first. I did ask first. You're sure they're all unconscious? Perfect. Then I'm going to start moving them all into one spot. I'll probably pile them up on each other so they can't even move around very well if they do wake up. Loose ends. I'm not here to murder anyone. I understand what your job was. Um, now hold on just a minute. Execution is different than just straight out murder. Mm. I guess you got me there, because it's really just murder that's been approved by someone on the assumption that the guilty conviction is actually true. And in your case, we know it wasn't, so... Well, hell, that just proves my point, though. That I didn't do it when it wasn't true. Well, your story didn't add up, and given everything I've gone through, I saw a reason to believe you. But I'm not going to kill these people who are just unconscious and tied up. Even if it would be the smarter decision to do, it's only going to increase our bounty, you know. And to send even more dangerous people after us. I think the best thing for us to do is slip away. Right, if we don't leave a big body count behind, there is not going to be a lot of public support for chasing after us. No, not really. You treat me with respect, and I deeply appreciate that. A lot of people really don't, and especially those who are in charge of things. They might put out a bigger bounty on you. Well, no one's going to go across the ocean hunting down some random execution that gone rogue. Exactly. If we do something and take these people out, that changes things. They can't tell everyone where we were headed, and honestly, or people probably would not believe it anyway. Most people do believe Alnacora is just a myth. Well, the important thing to note, I think, is that we made it here. We got 
All the treasure we wanted, secure, set up and ready to go before they even arrived. They were trying to spring a trap on us. And you brilliantly got them caught in their own trap. Because they wanted to bring us back alive. They don't want us killed off in some distant location. They want to make a public spectacle of us. Or as a lesson to anyone who would dare oppose the will of the guild. You know, they hold more power than the king does. No, it, it is true. I will finish loading up all of the treasure. Well, not all of it. There's far too much here. But I will load up what more we can fit. Honestly, between the two of us, we should be set for life. So my thinking is... Well, we're going to have to disguise it all somehow. Right, or find something, some other way to transport it, because otherwise we're going to be very big moving targets, even for people who have no idea where we got it all. They see you and me walking around with this much treasure. We are putting a target on our back. We shouldn't do that. Oh. Wait, they... You've had that on you this whole time. They let you keep that when you were sent down to be executed without checking what was inside. And they let you... Yeah, I can't um, process that. They let you keep this back. They know what this... Of course they know what this does. They sell them. Well, whatever. It uh, makes things a lot easier then. You should have told me about all this before I did all the heavy lifting, though, and put it all in the cart. Hell. Hold on. Why the hell did you even let me build the cart if you had this? Hmm. No, I believe you. I'm just not impressed with your answer. No, I don't think it's the same thing at all. You let me do all of this hard work when there was an alternative option readily available that you knew about when you withheld that information. Look, at the end of the day, you suck, you know that? I gotta move all this stuff again. You know what? Yeah, I will take you up on that. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing a 50-50 split anymore. I have to do all this hard work again. You jerk. Yeah. 75, 25. And. Alright, well, in that case, you're welcome to move the treasure yourself. Good luck. I'll just go sit down and wait. And you can keep your 50 then. <laughs> I'm just teasing. You can keep your 50. And I'll move it, yes. But for the record, if you ever pull something like this again, I will take it out of your cut. Well, of course, we could do that. But, you know, I'm thinking we make a really good team. Maybe, instead of just disappearing out into the countryside and living in hiding and if they're going to be sending assassins after us anyway it's exactly what I'm thinking why don't we continue this teamwork as bounty hunters not guild members there are um less above board bounties we could look for so, instead of living off all of this money for the rest of our lives, we use it to buy 
high-end magical equipment to help us out. Things that uh, the average adventurer that would be sent after us could not afford, could not handle. I think this could be a very mutually beneficial partnership. Beyond what it already has been, of course. And I think you agree. Excellent. Then it's settled. Oh, um, well, yes, one more thing. I've gotten to know you pretty well these, what, week, two weeks? Really, it hasn't been that long. But I've gotten to know you pretty well. You've learned more about me than any other human has, and you're not only still here, but willing to even plan a future where we're still working together. Hey, if your betrayal of me is making me move the gold again, I can live with that. That is so much better than the alternative. Yeah, I will gladly take that option. But more to the point I'm, I'm trying to get at is I, I have had a difficult time trusting people, trusting humans, since that last encounter, and I feel like I really can trust you. And it's, well, it's, I'm trying to just come out and say it, all right? Give me a minute. I like you. No, not, not like, oh, you're a cool person, I like you, but, like, like, I like you. I was wondering if you'd like to be more than just teammates, more than just a partner. I have seen the way you carry yourself. You know what you're doing, and you're good at what you do. Alright, I think you're hot, okay? It's like, I have to say it again. Oh, come on, I know you heard me. Fine. I think you are really hot. And I would like to see if this partnership could turn into something more. Well, I don't know. And I don't think it would do any good to take any sort of label and just say, oh, this is what it is. I know that I like spending time with you. And I like working with you. And I would like to continue doing both of those things. I guess the question I have for you would be this. Would you like to be my teammate with benefits? Oh, no, no, I, I love your answer. I just didn't expect it so enthusiastically. That's, I don't know, surprising. I guess some part of me still expects humans to... Yeah, I, you've been nothing but amazing. It has nothing to do with you, it's... Right, my past and just my experiences and, well, since you have now said yes, I am very much looking forward to the kind of experiences you and I will have together. Oh, no, no, I've already loaded up all the gold. Yes, and I left the hunters tied up in a pile where they can't really get up and come after us very easily. We're all set to go. I would very much like to hold your hand. 
you know, this was like a storybook or something. This would be the part where we ride off into the sunset together, wouldn't it? Never happily ever after. That's not just so nice. We definitely want to get out of here before they wake up. But I know a place nearby. We can go there. We can at least stay the night there and figure out our next move. It might still be wise to sail across the ocean. It might not. I don't know. We can ask when we get there. Oh, my parents live nearby. Well, I guess nearby is a relative term. Um, but, but, you know, since we don't have to carry a giant cart full of treasure, my arms are free. If you would like, I could put you up on my shoulders. You could ride me while I cover the distance for you. Would you like that? you like to ride me? Let me do all of the work. Sure. Hello, Comets, and thank you for listening this far into my video. This is part four of the Minotaur series, and I think it's a good finale. I think things have ended very nicely here. The listener and speaker are together? Yes, no, I think, um, I mean, yeah, they are. Interesting journey. Go from being wrongly accused and sentenced to execution to being freelance bounty hunters. Honestly, sounds like the, uh, plot of a movie or something. I don't plan on doing any further in this story, but, I mean, maybe I will, who knows? But I guess I'll figure that out, and I don't know, we'll see. Thank you again for listening, and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.